I'm Miss Bangs at Mayfoot Elementary, and this is my second grade class. And today we are going to be learning about place value. All right, friends. So today we are going to be able to make a model of a two digit number. And we are going to be able to write the two digit number represented by a model. Now remember we said digit has to do with the number we're writing, like two, three, and four. And a model is what we are making, okay? Who can give me a quiet thumbs up when you have one way that these two pictures are alike or different? Khalil? Uh, there is like four cubes in the first part, and there's two cubes in the second part, and there's like three tens in the like first, second part. And then Good job. Well, Cube, cubes. Good job. So the cubes have more over here, our ones, and I like that word you use. There were tens over here. So our ten rods have more here, but I mean have more here, but less ten rods there. What else do we notice? Brian? They're both the same pictures, but they split one of the tens into all ones. Ooh. So you're telling me they're the same amount, but they broke apart one of those tens? Very nice. Sorry. They all have green. Well, so both of those are green and some are yellow. Good job. One last one. Ian. Four, four of the ten rods and then three. Good job. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So as we're working today, I want you to think about that picture and how we can make that number different ways. All right, the first thing I want us to do is go ahead and either open up your baggie or you already have them in your caddy right here. The first thing I want you to get out is a 10 rod. And hold it in the air for me so I know that you have it. A 10 rod. Get out your 10 rod. Thank you. Good job. You have your 10 rod? Who can raise their hand and remind me how many ones? You can put your hands down. How many ones are inside of a 10 rod? Julian? 10. ten. That's why it's called a 10 rod, correct? Yes. All right. Everyone get out your one cube. Your cube that's worth one. You don't have to come back in the bag, honey. It's okay. Let me see. I see Lorelai's. I see Savannah's. Great job, Mackenzie. All right, and this is worth what, everybody? One. One. These are what we're using first. Our tens and our ones. Got it? Yes. All right. So we first have to look at our number. Who can raise their hand and tell me what is this number? 81. Daniel. 81. 81. Who can tell me what number is in the ones place in 81? Noah? Is the eight in the ones place or the one? one. The one. So this is my ones, which means the eight has to be my what, everybody? Ten. Tens. All right. So how many ones should I have? Show me with your fingers. One. Show fingers. One. So I would pull one cube out. How many ten rods would I have? Show me with your fingers. Eight. Good job. And the way that I go back to check that work is I count it. When I count by tens, what do I count by? Ten. ten. Please count with me. Ten. ten. Twenty. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Now I've stopped because I've run out of tens, right? So I need to start counting by what now? One. One. So if I'm at 80, what is one more? 81. 81. 
Does my number match this number? Yes. That's how we're going to check our work, okay? All right. The next one I want you to do. I want you to build 20. Build the number 20. Good job. Good job. Ooh, I see some friends building them different ways. I like that. Ooh, good job counting those. So how much would this be if we have this? How much is this? How much is this one just by itself? Ten. And then another one? Ten. So ten plus ten. Good job. Can you tell me why you're doing that? What does that mean? Good job. Because you don't have to use all 10 rods, right? Good job. All right. I want your eyes on me in two, one. Hands off the 10 rods. All right. I loved the way your brains were working because I saw this number made different ways. Who can raise their hand and tell me one way that you made it? Jackson? Ten. Okay, so you put two tens, and we said ten, and then what's this? Twenty. 20. Ten plus ten would give me twenty. What was another way that could have been made? Mackenzie, tell me the way that you were making it. Um, you have, what's it called? A ten rod. A ten rod. Ten. And then 10 ones. Does this work too, friends? Yeah. Yes. And what can we do to make sure? What can we always do once we've solved a problem? Yeah. Go back and count, right? So how much is this? 10. 10. And then we count by? 1. one. one. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Does it match? Yes. Perfect. Wait, Just a second, Chloe, because we're going to do another one, okay? All right. What do we notice now that has changed? Raise your hand. Amarna, what has changed? Mm, close, but in the other one, how many digits did we have? How many numbers were in 20? Evie? Two. Two. How many numbers do we have now? Three. Three numbers. So remember... We looked at ours yesterday and we took the hundreds chart and we laid them out and said if we put a hundred ones on the hundreds chart, it would make what? A hundred. A hundred. Or we put ten tens on the hundreds chart, remember it filled the rows? It made a what? One hundred. Okay? This is the number. Listen. I want you to work with the people at your table. And I want you to build this number, 576. All right, so, but we all have to work together, honey. So, Ree, how many ones are in 576? Which numbers in my ones place up there? I'm building it like this. Okay, so look, remember when we go, when we read, we go this way, left to right, but when we are this way. What's the number that's going to be over six? Yeah. So that's going to be our one place. So how many ones should we have? Six. Good job, I like how we came together. And then we got All right, so how many hundreds should we have? Six. Five. How many tens? Seven. And now how many ones do we need? Six. You guys had great teamwork, thank you. All right, so what do we think of here? So how many tens do we have? I got one more. I got one more. Okay, now we need. Do we 
have seven, seven pennies. And then we need to have yes. 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 number. Count them out. Seven. 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 Yep, so can you count those for me? Good job. Oh. What is this one? Uh, you didn't have enough 100. Right, because how much tens did you put together to make that? Ten tens, very nice. And then your six. Excellent, excellent. Yes. We're going to work here to build numbers. Yeah, so how they made it. You have more. And some of Adam. When I reach zero, please pause. Five, four, three, two. All right. How many hundreds are there in this number? Raise your hand. Lorelai. Five. Five. So this is my hundreds place. It's okay. Just leave me. Julian, which one is my tens? Which number? Seven. Seven, so here's my tens. And what about my ones? Josiah? Six. Six. Okay, so I know that most of us had how many of these hundreds blocks up there? Five. Five. And then most of us had how many tens? How many tens? Seven. Seven. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And then how many ones did we have? Six. Six. So I'm just going to draw my six ones right here. Ooh, maybe. Then I could count 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Now I'm going to count by what? 10. 10. 500. 10. 500. 20. 530. 540. 550. 560. 570. I ran out of tens. What am I going to count by? One. Good job. 571, 572, 573, 574, 575, 576. All right. So look what I did. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, I had an extra left over. That's why it's super important for us to check our work, right? Sometimes we may get too many or not enough. But as I walked around, I saw, like I know Savannah and Ava's group, they took 10 tens to make 100, okay? We could have done that. I saw some other groups. I saw, good morning. I saw some other groups make um, their ones, 10 ones for their 10 rod, okay? So there's a whole bunch of different ways we could make them. This is just one of those ways. Do we have any questions? <coughs> Thanks for learning with us today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. <coughs>